Hello and welcome to a Tabletop Bellhop Cardboard Coat Check. I am Mo Tuzano, the Tabletop Bellhop, your Cardboard Concierge. I'd like you to welcome you to my office today where I'm going to be checking in a new game here. The Scooby-Doo Escape from the Haunted Mansion, which is the first Coded Chronicles game, which is a, a specific style of puzzle game or escape room in a box style game. Uh, this one was written by Jay Cormier and Sen Foon Lim. Uh, otherwise known as the Bamboozle Brothers, a couple of Canadian game designers, so thumbs up CanCon. I am really excited to check this game out, so one thing I do want to note, though, this is not the Betrayal at the House on the Hill version of Scooby-Doo. That is a different game. This is Escape from the Haunted Mansion. Trust me, I understand that it's confusing because I messed it up myself. My local game store got in the other game, and I thought it was this, and I was all excited. And then I found out that, no, they got the Betrayal at the House on the Hill version, which also looks like it might be a decent game. But it is not this. This is more of a puzzle game, an escape room game, for um, one or more players, because you only need one person to solve the puzzles, but the more people you have, the more brains you've got working on it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut the shrink on this, and then we're going to move around a few things, and we're going to give you a better angle to take a look at this as I open it up. And thankfully, Sean, Dark Elf LX, my co-host on the Tabletop Bellhop Gaming Podcast, will do some nice editing work so that those of you watching on YouTube don't have to deal with cameras moving around. All right, so here we go. We have Scooby-Doo, Escape from the Haunted Mansion. The first thing I have to note is what a unique box. This is basically like a pizza box. That's what we're looking at here. It's going to open up. To me, it's like a pizza box. We start off, right, with a big thing that says, Read Me First. And note, it is a Coded Chronicles game. This is the mystery manual. We'll crack this open and take a quick look. You got nice, big text here. Easy to read. Lots of examples. This is one of those rule books that is just awesome. Where you can throw it out on the table. It's short enough. You're going to be able to read this just as you open up the box. Read it out loud. Oh, look at how simple this is. You're now ready to start. That's it. You got six pages of large text to get going. Oh, we got some Scooby Snack Tracker on the back here. So then we have the first player book. So each of the characters, I, I know a bit about this game. I haven't played it, but I did watch a demo at Gen Con Online. So each character has their own book. They can be played individual by individual players, or they can be um, shared. And what's going to happen is you'll, you'll look up things. So like if you're using Velma, and you look at something, she researches it. So if you see a cabinet and you use Velma to look at the cabinet, you research what's in the cabinet, you look up a code and read what it says. I'm not going to flip through much of this because for one, I don't want to spoil it. Plus, I don't know if there's pictures in here. So you got Velma, you got Shaggy, Daphne, Scooby-Doo, and Fred. Then what we've got are some map tiles. Now, what i got to watch for here is I don't really want to spoil anything. So what I'm going to do is I'm only going to flip over map tile 1, and I'm going to leave the rest in here. So I'm going to take this tape off. It's just paper tape. And I'm going to flip over map tile 1. And that's it. So what I'll do is I'll throw this over here, and you can kind of see it. So there's map tile 1. Uh, note the windows are blue, so I'm getting a little weird effect here. So there's map tile number 1, which I know is from the first thing. I'm not even going to show you map tile number 2. Then with that, we have the character standees. Which again, we will have a problem with the blues, but we have Fred, Scooby, Daphne, who's mostly blue, Shaggy, who's also mostly blue, and Velma. Now I'm going to use Velma for this to show you quickly how the system in this works. So what would happen here is you have the table. If I wanted Velma to investigate the table, I would put her here, and then I would read chapter 1201 from Velma's book to find out what happens when Velma researches the table. That's the basic system from this game. Again, the only reason I know that is I did watch a demo at Gen Con Online. I thought that was brilliant. I thought it was a really neat way to do things. So the next thing we have are a whole bunch of secret elements. We, we have chapter two, which we can, a whole book here, which you have to read an entry to continue. And we have a whole bunch of envelopes. Don't open until instructed. Look at them all, all these envelopes. All kinds of secret stuff. Tons of them, piles of envelopes. Then we have cards. 
These, unfortunately, aren't going to show up well because all the blue and the green. But we have a pack of cards, which I'm going to crack open here. And again, I don't want to spoil anything, so I'm just going to literally just flip the first one over. And you can tell it's like it's going to be an overlay. And obviously this is, you looked in a closet. So these clue cards are going to come up based on things that you see in the book. You're going to say something like grab clue card, whatever. I'm only showing you number one. There is a thick, thick deck of these. There are a total of 60 of these tarot size cards that all have a mix of clues and rooms on them. So we're going to throw that back in and that's it. That's all we get in the box. There's nothing else in here. You got a very purple box with a, I got to admit, pretty lame box insert. Um, I attempted to look under the box insert because there's this meme of, uh, no, nothing. Okay. Legacy games and puzzle games hiding things under there. So nothing else in there. Just a kind of lame box insert. I'm a little disappointed by this because one of the problems, I don't know if you saw it when I was unboxing them, is all of the books are a little warped from being in there. They, they, they're kind of sagging in the middle. Which isn't terrible. They're not thick books as it is. But by just not even having that insert, put the boxes on the books in the middle. And you can see, look, there's like some of the inks rubbing off on them from that, from those corners. That's just a, a poor design choice. Like, get rid of the insert, which I'm going to do with my copy right now so they don't get further damage. Put the books on the bottom, nice and flat, then put everything else in here. That just makes more sense to me. So I'm going to do it. And we have the character standees, which you can stand these up. I didn't do it. They're, they're, um, yeah, right. You can stand them up. I didn't bother doing that for the one example. So that's it. Really, really short book to get you going. Um, start investigating, start reading things from the other books. Try to escape from the haunted mansion. Got to say, it looks cool. I, I, the, the, system the what do they call it the coded chronicles system seems really cool to me i like the concept of it i like the way that works it, it, it's a very neat way to do things i'm very impressed by that all right so there you have what you get in the box for scooby-doo escape from the haunted mansion from the op better known as usa Opelay for a few years ago um odd pizza style box i, I actually like it it works really well for this um Everything looks neat. Game looks very cool. I love the art style. It looks like Scooby-Doo I grew up with. Um, I love the idea of the puzzles. I have no idea how hard they're going to be or how much of a challenge this will be, but I am looking forward to playing with this. Um, I love the fact that it's going to be approachable, right? It's Scooby-Doo Horror. I can play this with my youngest daughter, which is pretty awesome, whereas some of the other games in this, not this series, but like the, the Escape Room series games, like the Exit games, kind of have, might have some mature themes where this won't. It's Scooby-Doo. Um, system looks cool. My only complaint is that box insert. There's a cardboard box insert in there that doesn't seem to serve any purpose. And then the books are flat and are they're the full size of the box and they sag in the middle. And I've actually got some books where the paint's like the, the ink's coming off on them. That just doesn't make sense to me. You can put them in flat without that insert. So that's, that's an odd design choice. It's not like there's a punch board that needed to be in there. Other than that, I'm looking forward to checking this one out. When I do play this with my family, I will be sharing my thoughts on the Tabletop Bellhop Gaming Podcast, which you can find on any podcatcher, Stitcher, Amazon, we're everywhere. I, we just added a whole bunch of new places we are yesterday. If you can't find us, there's something wrong. Um, you can also find us at TabletopBellhop.com. That's our main webpage where you can find unboxing videos like this. You can find actual plays, reviews, and answers to your gaming and game night questions. Because that's the main thing we want to do. We want to be a Dear Abby for gamers. If you've got a gaming or game night question, send it to questions at TabletopBellhop.com. And then we may cover your question in a future podcast. Uh, for Tabletop Bellhop, I am Mo Tuzano, the Tabletop Bellhop. You have a good night and game on.